Hi, I'm Francis. Welcome, and this is part two of the protective style series. This is how I protect my actual hair whilst in a protective style with extensions. I always qualify it with extensions because there could be protective styles without extensions. You could do these cornrows without extensions. You could wear bands and they are still protective style. So the focus is on protective styling with extensions. I'll be sharing a few tricks here and there, but let's start off with the basic thing to do when you get your hair done. I always like to use an oil with a nozzle like this. Something that will make it easy to apply in between the rows. If you are in corn rows, find an applicator bottle, put your oil in it, and then you apply it. That's the first one. An applicator bottle makes it easy for you to apply the oil in between the corn rows because there's always enough space compared to using pomade. If you want to use pomades, you have to really emulsify it that's melt it in your hands then you hold it like this and you part it and put it in but i find oils to be easy to apply just get an applicator bottle pour whatever oil you want you can mix up your oils i always have a mixture of oils i never use one oil i can mix up up to 10 oils in a bottle that's how i use my oils then i apply it on the edges and in between my focus is usually on the edges first to keep the place from breakage and also to ease the tension there even though it's not painful. There's a lot of tension here because the style starts from here. So I use my oils or my pomade on the edges first then in between. How often? I always want to be very minimal so about twice a week maximum three times a week if it is boss braids it's easy to apply about three or four times in a week but with cornrows i stick to about two or three times and that is it maximum boss braids even five times a week you'll be fine because you're able to assess your scalp and clean it when you want to then the second thing is using a braid spray so you spray it in Now, when you use the brushing, what it does is to stop the hair from being dry. It nourishes your scalp because it's very light. It goes into the brace, onto your scalp, and prevents dryness and itchy scalp. When you braid and you start experiencing itchy scalp, most likely it is because your scalp is dry. So when you use a braid spray, or what we call the braid sheen spray, you help your scalp stay moisturized and also prevent the flakes that you tend to get when you braid your hair because this is also very light and watery it gets absorbed into the hair itself protecting your hair against dryness and breakage so by the time you take down your protective style whether your cornrow or boss braids or twists your hair will not be dry it will be moisturized it will stay healthy and you're going to get the benefit of having left it in because when your hair is dry after take down you end up having a lot of breakage we've experienced that a lot you end up having a lot of breakage and it will be like you've undone all the work you've put in so all the three months growth becomes nullified so make sure that you use a braid shame or a braid spray Sometimes I also have alternatives. You can use water plus a bit of your leave-in. Make sure it's very, very light. I used to advocate this, but I realized that it's still not even light enough considering the absorption we want. So the best would be to get a braid shin, which is like water 
beige very very light lighter than using the leaving plus your water i used to do that but as i said having progressed and learned more about my hair i realized that it still weighs down the hair when you use the leaving plus water it's a bit thick it doesn't really soak in compared to a brushing this is very affordable on the market i'll leave my shop link um, below um you can find me on instagram my shop on instagram at empress glam hub everything i teach here i stock them so that you can also grow your hair you get to see what i do and i post them there so you get to also purchase them so i use a brushing and i love embracing because because when your braids are flaky you tend to see the flakes you know popping up and i do not like that at all it makes you look unclean and everybody's uncomfortable with that kind of dandruff okay that's how we call it we say dandruff so when you use this on the scalp it keeps the scalp hydrated and moisturized and after that you apply your growth oil and you are good to go so for the basics you just need the two your brace spray and your growth oil to keep your scalp healthy now if you're in boss braids or even cornrows and you want to clean your scalp these are some of the things you can do i will say dilute a bit of your apple cedar vinegar in water dip your cotton in it and use it to clean your scalp that's the quickest vinegar dilute with water put in your cotton or your towel clean your scalp after that fill up with your oil or your brace spray and you are done the second thing you can do if you don't wash wash with the apple cider vinegar is dilute a bit of your regular shampoo use a towel dip it in clean your scalp and you are good to go you can do it once or twice in the month if you're going to keep your hair for about six weeks you can clean it like three times just to keep the scalp clean another thing about keeping extensions is when you're going to sleep try and scarf it down i do very well with this one I wear a scarf a scarf and what it does is it keeps the hair looking neater and fresher for a longer period so get your scarf tie your scarf and sleep the alternative will be a bonnet I find bonnets to be convenient for both braids you're able to tag everything in but when it comes to cornrows like this I opt for scarf so that I just scarf the part so whichever style you do find a protective way of um, maintaining it at night the last thing when it comes to protective styling with extensions is the takedown and i'll do a video on the takedown for now this is what i have to share concerning how to maintain your protective style especially with extensions let's say you do not add extensions you want to wear bands as protective styling and you do not want to take down your band every day what do you do and just as this bracing keep your hair fresh when you're in braids you can use this mist your hair a bit apply a little oil keep your hair down until you're ready to take down your band and i'm not talking about using gels just normal band so you do not have to take down your band every day you can stretch your pants to two or three days so just a bit of this on your hair like a mist keeps the moisture in your hair going until you take down your band hopefully in the coming months i'll show you how i maintain my own hair with the extensions but for now i hope this video helps you if you enjoyed the video don't forget to thumbs it up comment below Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so when I post the final series, you will be able to have a complete regimen for your grace. Thank you and 